Here I'm going to perform a frap of the uh, blue fluorescent protein, cyan fluorescent protein in this cell and yellow fluorescent protein in this cell. You can see that cyan and yellow fluorescent proteins are expressed in both cells and I would like to see what is the motility of either of the protein. I already set the settings for the pinhole and adjusted the sensitivity of the detection to have no oversaturated pixels and now I will go to bleaching parameters and the only difference which I need to make here is to check here use different settings for different ROIs and this option becomes available only after you select at least two ROIs regions of interest so I will go ahead and select half of the nucleus in this cell to photo bleach with the laser for yellow fluorescent protein and then half of the nucleus in this cell to bleach with the laser for cyan fluorescent protein. Now this checkbox is active and I can select which laser line would I like to use for ROI1. I would like to photo bleach YFP with 540 nanometer laser at intensity 100% and for the ROI2 I would like to use 458 nanometer laser line also at 100% intensity. And now when I click start experiment, this region will be exposed to the 540 nanometer laser and this region will be exposed to 458 nanometer laser. And in both cases, both lasers will go 100 times through the area selected them with this scan speed time. And as you can see, I got uh, decrease of the intensity in, in this nucleus for the CFP and I get got decrease of the intensity for this nucleus in YFP channel. And I can see it in the mean ROI tab. I will deselect the channels which are not subjected to photo bleaching. And here is the photo bleaching efficacy for the green region. I lost on it approximately a half of intensity. This is the intensities for the G1, T1, uh, my CFP channel for the red region. And here the intensity goes down due to photo bleaching caused by scanning. But there is no dramatic drop in the intensities, which you can see here. And the same I can see for the YFP protein. Here the photo bleaching was even more efficient, 68.3. Uh, intensity to 21, while the nucleus which was not subjected to photo bleaching for the YFP protein is losing intensity due to photo bleaching caused by scanning, but this is a gradual linear loss. There is new YFP protein diffusing into the back into the nucleus constantly, so after photo bleaching um, I can detect a slow increase in intensity. This data can be exported by right-clicking uh, the table and selecting copy table and then you can paste this data into the Excel sheet.